This edition of Mac Voices is sponsored by Smile, the makers of PDF Pen, PDF Pen Pro, PDF Pen for iPhone, PDF Pen for iPad, PDF Pen Scan Plus for iPhone and iPad, Text Expander, Text Expander Touch, and Disk Label. Find out more about all their great products at smilesoftware.com. Mac Voices is in Las Vegas for CES and Showstoppers. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Caroline. She's going to talk to us about SimpliCam, a home monitoring solution with some intelligence, Caroline, it looks like. So something brand new for you. Something brand new. We now have face recognition. So you're able to know if someone unrecognized is at home or get notifications whether or not your husband or your kids got home. And this is interesting because these are great solutions and you think, oh, well, just motion detection or sound detection. But if you have pets at home, you're getting those alerts all the time. That's right. Most people have it in their living room or in their kitchen, and there's trees moving, cars moving, or they have pets and they're walking around all day. You could end up with thousands of motion detections a day. And so after day two, you're like, well, you know what? I, I don't need to see this. And so you don't end up looking at it. Yeah. Um, so really, it's about having relevant information that makes sense. And most people want to know, OK, who's home? You know, Am I home? And, Reversely, like relevance also has to do with if I'm home, I don't want to get notified. I know I'm home, right? So you can really customize your experience with face recognition. So this this is a nice little device. It, it, as I understand it, it comes out of the box. You plug it in. It's very easy to configure. That's right. So you you plug it in. You put it into your Wi-Fi network. The way that works is you set it up on your smartphone with a free closely app. And then you have a two minute setup. It goes beep beep. It reads your Wi-Fi code and it goes up and you're good to go. Now that's the first thing you said that scares me a little, because we are talking about putting a camera in my home. Yes. And so every time we get have discussions about this kind of thing, you've got to talk security. Absolutely. What kind of security? How how certain can I be that someone can't hack in, or that somebody at SimpleCam can't hack in? Great question. Well, so the first thing that you do is you set up your own account, right? So it's not that it's an open network. There is no default password. You have to set a password from the get-go. And then it goes into the cloud. We use Amazon servers, and we also have SOC3 audits. So making sure bank-level encryption. I mean, I have a SimpliCam in my home, right? So I want this just as much as you do. <laughs> so I, where does the video actually get stored? Where, where does the information get stored? Is it on your servers? or is it a peer-to-peer -peer situation? It's in the closely cloud, so all of the imaging analysis happens in real time and the recording happens at the same time in the closely cloud. How much video do I have the option to capture? So we have three plans. The first one is a one-day plan, which is $5 a month, or $49.99 a year, sorry. We also have an 11-day plan and a 21-day plan. Now what do you mean by one day plan, five, you know what? I, I don't understand the, the days. How that works, right? Yeah. Sure. Uh, so what happens is the camera will be continuously uploading video into the cloud, and you have the option to look at the last 24 hours, or the last 11 days, uh, or the last 21 days. And so it's a rolling window of how much. And then you can also store favorites. So let's say you found like your cat's doing something they're going to make that's going to make them famous on YouTube. You can save it into your favorites so it doesn't go away. Okay, got it. I don't have a cat, so I guess I'm out of luck. Oh, I'm sorry. No yeah. YouTube fame for you. Yeah, it's, it's tough. It's tough. Um, the facial recognition is, is the new thing. Yeah. And I'm kind of curious just how, how well does it work? That's not what I mean. Mm -hmm. How far away can you capture a face and have it recognized it reliably? Really good question. So there's a lot of different factors that come into face recognition accuracy, as you pointed out. So when you set it up, the first thing that it's going to do is it's going to ask you to be 10 feet away, away. And the reason it does that so that it can have a really good range of as you're going back and forth into a room, it'll have a better chance of detecting you. Uh, and then lighting is also a really big factor. So the way that works is you set it up, hopefully in the environment where you're going to be using it. And afterwards, it has an improve recognition option. And you can go in there, and the algorithm will say, OK, I think this in a different angle, in a different lighting, is you. And you can say, yes, that's me. No, that's not me. And over the course of time, it gets better and better and better. All right, great. Um, what else should I ask? What kind of resolution are we talking about for the video? 720p. So it's very, very high quality video. How about night vision or anything of that nature? Uh, there's night vision. There's also two-way talk. So you know if you're like fantasy cats that doesn't exist or something really inappropriate, you could be talking to it on your smartphone and be like, hey, get down the counter. OK. <laughs> or no, no, I'm not going there. All right. Um, yeah, that's just that's gonna, not going to end well. 
What kind of pricing are we talking about here? For the, for the, I know we talked about the plan, but the camera itself. SimpliCam is one forty nine ninety nine. It's available on simplicam.com and on Amazon. Oh, that's easy. All right. Great. Uh, availability. Immediate. Wonderful. Wonderful. Great. And of course, we're talking about controlling all of this with with the i iPhone app, or and we'll app we'll take yeah, we'll take a quick look at that. Yep. Let you show us that. So here's how it works. You go into here, that's your face recognition manager, and you can add a person right from here. So that'll take you through, through a two minute setup and it'll ask you for different angles of your face. And immediately when you're done setting up, it asks you, do you want to record that person? Do you want to notify when that person is here? And that's the tap in, to improve recognition I was just talking about. So this is the different angles of the face, different lighting that it thinks is me. And as I'm approving all of these, it'll get better. So that, I just installed that yesterday, this is me in a meeting room right here, and it sees that it's me right here. You can also have it delete recording, so if I had it set to delete recording when I'm there, it would say there's no, there's no video here because someone was recognized. You can also use events right here, and by motion, sound, face, choose which events you want to look at, and then when it recognizes me, I'll have my name right under it, which is it's really busy right now at this press event, so it's hard to see me. There it is. So that's one of the events where I was detected. Oop, sorry, I tapped on the wrong one. So, oop. Let's go find another one. It's crazy. Okay, let's try this one. So here's one where I was recognized. So I'm right here in a meeting. So I work. And so here are our notifications. So you'll get notifications like the camera sign unrecognized person, which is happening here. Um, and the website is? SimplyCam.com, so that's S-I-M-P-L-I-C-A-M.com. Caroline, thank you so much. Thank you. Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices at Showstoppers and CES. We'll be back with more soon. Thanks for watching. Visit MacVoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and the Mac Voices blog. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date on all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Do more with your Apple tech by subscribing to the free Mac Voices magazine on Flipboard by visiting macvoices.com slash magazine. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at BackbeatMedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at Cashfly.com.